Hello and welcome to this video on trochlear nerve palsy. Before we get on to the pathology, let's recap some of the anatomy. So the trochlear nerve is the fourth cranial nerve. It emerges from the posterior surface of the midbrain, the brainstem, and it crosses over centrally before it becomes a peripheral nerve. So it's a contralateral nerve that courses forward into the orbit and passes through the superior orbital fissure. Once it gets into the orbit, it supplies a single muscle, which is the superior oblique muscle. The function of that muscle is to medially rotate the eye, which is sometimes referred to as intorsion. It's involved in abduction, so it swings the eye outwards, and it's also involved in depression of the eye. So what happens then when we get paralysis of the superior oblique muscle? Well, usually we would have two muscles that contribute to pulling the eye upwards and two that contribute to pulling the eye downwards. When the eye is in the neutral position and in the midline, there's normally a certain amount of muscle tone from all the muscles that keeps it suspended there. So when one of the muscles, such as the superior oblique, is not involved in pulling the eye down, we get a slight drift of the pupil upwards, which means that the eyes are not aligned on the horizontal plane. The reason for this is that the two muscles pulling the eye upwards, which are inferior oblique and superior rectus, slightly overpower the fact that we've only got the inferior rectus pulling the eye downwards or offering muscle tone in that direction because the superior oblique is out of action. So what type of symptoms would we expect with somebody with trochlear nerve palsy? Well patients generally complain of issues which involve looking down. Now this is predominantly things such as reading or walking downstairs. The affected eye is suffering from something known as vertical diplopia and this is something which tends to be more prominent when looking downwards. So the patient tends to present with a head tilt to one side to compensate for the double vision which is diplopia and uh, this is a telltale sign of trochlear nerve palsy. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.